This is the follow-up video to the Build a MIDI Input Circuit tutorial. If you're new here, click the link to check out the previous video where we build up the circuit. This time we're going to install the MIDI library into the Arduino IDE and upload some code that will test the functionality of our MIDI input circuit. We'll then look at the code in detail to see how a MIDI library program is written. The first step is to download the MIDI library and install it in the Arduino software. Do a search for Arduino MIDI library or click the link below to get to the download page. Once you get there, download the latest version of the library. As of this video, it's version 4.2. The library will download as a zip file. No need to extract it right now. Now open the Arduino software. I'm using version 1.6.0. If you're using an earlier version, the installation process might be a little different. In the software's menu bar, go to Sketch, Import Library, and then click Add Library. This will cause a file browser to pop up. Find the zip file for the MIDI library that you just downloaded and click Open. This will add the library to the Arduino software. You can verify that this worked by going to the Sketch menu and then Import Library. The word MIDI should now be part of the list. Click the link below in the video description and go to notesandvolts.com to download the file called MIDI Input Test. Unzip the file and open the MIDI input test program file with your Arduino software. An easy way to check that everything's okay is to hit the verify button on the far left. This will do a test compile of your program and let you know if there are any errors. If you see done compiling and no error messages in the bottom window, then everything works fine. Now we're ready to load the program onto the Arduino board. Connect your Arduino to your computer with a USB cable. Here's an important note. You'll need to remove the wire temporarily from the Arduino's RX pin to load a program into the Arduino. Any incoming MIDI data will interfere with the Arduino's USB connection. Go back to your Arduino software and check the Tools menu port setting to make sure it's the same as your Arduino board. Now simply click Upload and wait for the program to upload to your Arduino. When you see the Done Uploading message and no error messages in the lower window, you know the program was successful. Now you can reconnect the Arduino's RX cable. Next, connect a MIDI cable to the MIDI input circuit. Plug the other end of the cable into the MIDI out jack on your keyboard. Check the settings on your keyboard to make sure that MIDI out is enabled. Now play a note on your keyboard. The LED on the Arduino board should flash on and off as you press and release the key. If this works, congratulations, your Arduino now has a fully working MIDI input. Now let's take a look at the program in greater detail. The program starts with the include MIDI.h command. This tells the compiler to add the MIDI library code to your program when it compiles. If you don't use this command, the compiler won't understand any of the MIDI commands in the program and you'll get an error message. The define command is really just to help us manage the program. It tells the compiler to substitute the word LED with the number 13 whenever it appears in our code. Pin 13 on the Arduino is connected to the onboard LED that we will use as an indicator light. Define commands are really helpful in situations like this. If we later want to use a different pin, we can just change this one line and the pin number will be changed in every location in the program. The next line does exactly what it says. 
it tells the MIDI library to create a MIDI object with default settings. You can specify custom settings for the name and serial port if you want, but in this case the default settings are fine. This next command defines the setup function of our program. Every Arduino program requires a setup function and a loop function. The setup function runs once when the program first starts. The pin mode command simply sets the LED pin, which if you remember is pin 13 because of our define statement, to be an output. This allows it to turn on the Arduino's LED. Now we're finally getting into some actual MIDI stuff. MIDI.begin tells the Arduino to enable communications on its serial port. The name MIDI was chosen automatically when we chose the default settings earlier. The parameter MIDI Channel Omni tells the program to listen to messages on all MIDI channels. If we replace this with, say, a number 2, the program would only respond to messages on channel 2. The next command, set handle note on, is a very important command in the MIDI library. A handle is the name of the function that will be called by the MIDI library when a particular event comes in. In this case, it's a note on message. The name in brackets is the name of the function that will be called. I chose my handle note on, but you could call it anything you like. The next command is the same thing for a note off message. The MIDI library has a set handle command for every type of MIDI message. Next up is the loop function. As we discussed earlier, a loop function is a required part of every Arduino program. This function will continue to run in a continuous loop for as long as your Arduino has power. In this program, our loop function has only one job. It continuously calls the MIDI.read command. This command checks the Arduino serial input for any new MIDI data. It's very important that your program checks this command often. If it waits too long, you'll begin to miss incoming MIDI messages. Finally, we have the actual code for the note on and note off functions that we named using the set handle commands earlier in the program. In these functions, we can write the code that will deal with incoming MIDI messages. Notice that each function receives three bytes of data when called. We can use this data to find the channel, pitch, and velocity of the incoming note. We don't need this in our simple test program as all we care about is that a note on or note off message was received. When a note on message comes in, we are using the digital write command to set pin 13 high. This will turn on the onboard LED. We'll turn off the LED when we receive a note off message. Hopefully by now you have a better understanding of the MIDI input circuit and the Arduino. We'll talk more about MIDI and the Arduino MIDI library in the next episode. Visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials and I'll see you next time.